Okay, everyone. Uh, this video is about uh, some basic Linux commands. You might need them uh, for your lab tasks. Uh, so you can find this document on Moodle page of Big Data uh, on the section useful resources, basic Linux commands. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, firstly, let, let me review some commands. The first one is a CD command. So you might need this command to change working directory. Uh, you can, uh, for, uh, for example, you can use CD space with two doors indicating uh, that you're gonna go to the parent directory. Let me show you. So uh, this is in you know, our virtual uh, Hadoop environment. So you can open the terminal. So you you can see that the current, uh, this is current, you know, working directory desktop, right? So if you input the command CD uh, space with two doors, uh, that means you're gonna go to the parent, uh, the parent directory of desktop. Okay, so you can use, and if you wanna go back to the desktop, this directory, you can use command ds desktop. Okay, so now you go back, right? So it's very easy, uh, the CD. And uh, you can also go to a specific uh, directory if you give uh, full parts of that directory, right? So, um, for example, you want to go to uh, workspace, the workspace uh, directory. You can give uh, the the full pores of workspace. Now you can see that uh, we change it to the uh, directory called you know workspace, and this is you know the full pores of that directory workspace. Okay. And yeah, so this is a CD uh, command. And the third one uh, is, is kind of, you know, someone asked me uh, the meaning of this one. This is CD uh, space with two doors uh, and slash workspace. Actually, this is a combination of two, uh, of two commands. You can regard it as a combination of two, com the two commands, CD commands. The first one, if you uh, input CD uh, workspace, Right, so actually it equals two commands. The first command is cd space with two dots. And the second, uh, second uh, command is cd uh, workspace. Yeah, so actually this is a combination of two uh, commands, cd commands, okay. So this is the, uh, uh, some examples for the cd command. And now uh, the other command uh, ls, uh, I think it's very easy, right? It's just the listing for listing directory contents, right? So let me explain, uh, give some example here. Yeah. So this is workspace, right? So if you, we input LS, uh, that's just showing, displaying uh, contents, including some documents, right? Task.txt, the document, and some uh, uh, some uh, directory, right? With you know, blue color, triple A, uh, lab nine, and this one, uh, indicating uh, directory, okay. Uh, okay, so this is very easy, right? Uh, the third command is pw, I have introduced before, pw just uh, print the full parts of the current working directory, okay? So for now, if you, we are working uh, in this directory, right? So if you want to know the full parts, you can input the, uh, in, uh, the command pwd, so now you can see that it uh, display display you know the full parts of uh, workspace that you know directory the slash home slash Hadoop slash workspace. Okay, so if you don't know you, you, the current directory you're working on, you can just use pwd this uh, command to display you know, uh, the full parts of current working directory. Okay, I think it's very easy. Uh, next one, cat. Cat actually is the print content of a text file, right? So you can use cat uh, to, let me uh, look at that. Uh, we, use the, uh, we use this command to show some, uh, you know, content in this directory. And we know that there is uh, a document, txt document, test document, right? So in this case, we can use cat, txt, right? We want to know, you know, you, we can, you know, uh, have a look 
uh, you know, the content of the document by using cat uh, this command. So you can see that this is content of this test doc document. Okay. Okay, so cat command, uh, cp command, just for using, uh, for copying files from one source uh, to the uh, destination folder, right? So you can basically, uh, there are two examples here. The first one, you can see that cp uh, uh, is, yeah, you can see that cp command, and this is a source file, test.txt, uh, within one, you know, uh, uh, directory, working directory, right? And uh, this is a destination, uh, you know, folder, right? Destination folder under, you know, AAA. And you can, with this command, you can rename uh, the, the uh, rename the name uh, of, you know, the source file. So you can see that with this command, cp to, uh, test uh, to uh, this location, this folder, and and then you rename uh, the test.txt as abc.txt. Let me show you something. Yeah, yeah. So you can cp uh cp uh test.txt, and th then we this is source file, and then we can uh input you know uh, the the second parameter that is the destination. Okay, so we input the full pause of home slash Hadoop and slash uh, I, uh sorry workspace and triple A. This is the folder. Uh, and if you want to rename the task.txt file uh as maybe abc.txt, so you can see that yeah. So now let's check, you know, the result. So we can go to, uh, you know, the uh, a child folder of workspace CD AA. Yeah. So you can see that there's one file called abc.txt. Actually, this is a copy of this task.txt, but with different name, with in the name abc, right? Okay. So it, yeah. Or if you don't want to rename the rename this document, you want to keep the name of the test. So in this case, you don't have to uh you, you don't have to uh you just give the folder or directory information that's enough. So you can see that in this case we can remove uh the name of the uh, rename of abc.txt and we just keep you know this part, this part, you know, the folder information, okay, the directory information, but Destination for that of destination. Okay, so in this case, you can see that. Uh, yeah. So let's go to the triple A folder, and to say what happened, what's happening. So you can see that there's uh, another document task.txt. This is just the uh, the same as the original, you know, source file task.txt with the same name. Right. Okay. So uh, let's get back to the working uh, workspace directory. Okay, so this is called a uh, CP man just for copying files from uh, one source file uh, to uh, you know another you know directory uh, with the original name or with another name. It's up to you. Okay, uh, this CP command. Uh, the last uh, six command is uh, MKDIR. This is very uh, easy command. You just uh, you want you know create a directory. In this case, you can use a MacDR. Right. So, for example, if we want to mac mkd uh, dir um, new uh, new folder, right? So you can see that uh, there's gonna new folder called uh, new folder right here, right? So this is a result of this command. So you want to create a new directory, new folder. You can use this command mkdir. Uh, new folder or or any uh, name of a, a folder or directory. Okay. Uh, the last one uh, is R RM command. RM command normally is used to delete a file or directory. So you can use that uh, if you want to uh, delete file. You have to give uh, you know the name of document or sometimes if the uh, the the document is not in the current 
uh, working directory, you have to give the full powers of the document. Okay, you can use this RM uh, uh, with you know uh, the name of document or the full parse uh, with the name of document. So this is used for deleting a file. Uh, and the second one, if you want to delete uh, a directory, so in this case, you might need a, per a parameter uh, that is RM with uh, this is hyphen R that lets system know that you're gonna delete a uh, directory. So this is a, a example, uh, delete my directory one, right? So there are two uh, actually ways to delay the file or uh, directory, okay? So for example, if you want to uh, delete, uh, uh, delete the task, because you can see that, or what we have in this folder workspace, we have some uh, file, right? For example, if we want you know delete the task.txt uh, this document, we can use R and uh, task.txt. Okay. So yeah, so let's say uh what's happening. You can see that the task doc uh, this task document uh, uh disappear, right? So this is the result of this command. Okay. And uh, suppose that you want to delete a folder. Uh, the directory like triple A. So in this case, you have to use a RM command with a, a parameter with high form uh, R. That means you're gonna delete a folder or directory. So uh, and then you can give the name of the folder or directory. Or uh, if say this triple A is not in uh, the current working directory workspace, you have to give the full parse of that directory, okay? So in this case, because A, triple A, the directory, you just under the workspace as a working directory. So you don't have to give, you know, the full parts. It just gives the name of the folder. Then you can you can see that, yeah, so the, the folder has been deleted, right? So this is some uh, basic commands you might need uh, to do your lab tasks. Okay, so that's all for uh, this video, okay? If you want more information about Linux commands, you can actually you can search uh, Google to get more information. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching.